Brad Wright. And I'm Tiago Marañón. We are Library Dean's Fellows working with the Manuel Zapata Oliveira Papers and Special Collections, specifically the Grupo Etnográfico Collection of Interviews with Ordinary Colombians conducted in various regions of the country from 1973 to 1975 and again during 1985. Afro-Colombian intellectual Manuel Zapata Oliveira is known throughout Latin America as the Dean of Black Literature and is considered one of the 20th century's most important Afro-Hispanic novelists. Zapata Oliveira left a legacy of building pride in black culture and black identity in <coughs> Colombia and Latin America. Perhaps less is known, though, about the significant amount of anthropological work he did with the Fundación Colombiana de Investigaciones Folclóricas and a team of researchers. This collection includes discussions with black and indigenous Colombians otherwise marginalized from the historical record on a wide range of topics, from street theater to indigenous handcrafts to traditional medicines and popular religion to gender roles in society and regional music and dance. The project began with the basic goal of making these ethnographies and their associated materials accessible for students and scholars working on Colombia and accessible to the public in Colombia. We did a thorough review of the interviews and have provided a thematic orientation to its wide-ranging contents in brief scholarly essays available on the website. The Grupo Etnográfico collection in the Manuel Zapata Oliveira papers is part of Colombia's national patrimony. Vanderbilt's commitment is to preserve it and make it accessible. Our work has involved putting interviews, records, and transcripts online with a brief summary of each in a database searchable by topic. We read hundreds of interviews, created appropriate metadata for each, and selected prevalent and representative themes to write about. We each wrote two essays, providing historical context, including links within essays to relevant documents within the collection. These can serve as entry points into the Grupo Etnográfico. Through this project, we have made a number of discoveries and learned a great deal. We discovered Colombia's cultural diversity and regional distinction and got a glimpse of the extent to which African and indigenous cultures intersect in Colombia. We learned the importance of popular theater in expressing black and indigenous peasant culture. Many interviews also contain fascinating discussion of gender issues, especially interesting among YU indigenous communities in La Guajira Peninsula. I discovered an unpublished work of an unprecedented study on hygiene and public health in Colombia written by Zapata Olivella and we were repeatedly reminded how important Zapata Oliveira is to the Colombian people as international ambassador for African Colombian culture. As a historian from South America, it has been refreshing to see how Vanderbilt's library cares about document preservation and values, making its collections accessible to the public. We have been particularly struck by the possibilities opened up with digital technology. Through the Dean's Fellows meetings with the colleagues working on other projects, we have had a chance to better understand the library and to see the extent of the work, research, and resources available here.